Hi guys, today we're going to fly the V900, Alessandro is flying and I'm going to try to chase him with my multiplex fundraiser. So we had a little bit of a rough landing, so on this occasion I will show you how to fix the airplane fast and cheap. You can use of course uh, epoxy glue or something, but uh, I'm using the hot glue. I'm a big fan of hot glue now since I watch the flight test videos. So the problem is on the crash it uh, took off the mounting of the wing. The holding the holder for the GoPro and one aileron was cut through. So first we start with fixing the wing back on the fuselage, fuselage, fuselage. So we will just apply hot glue all the way on this part and then also on the other side just give it enough, don't be greedy and on the flat part, and then just put it in place and press it down and hold it for a bit. Actually, while we're doing that, we can also remount our GoPro holder. So just here, put a little bit of hot glue. I scratch this a bit with the knife so that I have a better surface so then let's just hold it back in place 
just keep it for a while as well. Fit back, so we're gonna take care of the wing. First, we will scrap off all these styrofoam parts because they will just be in the way. Just scrape it off with the knife. Then, I want to have a sharp edge, so I will break this. Then, so what we're gonna use are those nylon hinges, you can get that in every hobby store, normally they're used on wooden planes for the hinges, for the ailerons or any control surface, but I found it also very good on the styrofoam planes, so we will just cut with our knife pretty deep in. And just make it enough so that our hinge will fit. Okay, and also on the outer side. Make it deep. And then also surface itself about at the same place also here and then what we're gonna do we will test fit it first because nothing worse than a not well fitting hinge. This is one. You can also use uh, some styrofoam CA, but I always found that very messy, so I rather work with the hot glue. more of a hole here. Fitting is always a bit fumbly, but it seems pretty good. I think I'm gonna do a third one in the middle just to be sure to have the most possible One hinge, let's use another one. Then slowly fit everything together. It will be more easy once one side is glued. Actually, we can just glue in one side already, so we will use just a little bit of the glue. Hinge inside. Same goes here. Just a little bit of the glue. Doesn't need too much. Put it inside and you can use a 
bit of a cardboard to scrape off the excess here. But it will be. Little bit of glue. We will let this dry for a bit. Cut it a little bit deeper here since this one is sticking out a bit much. Okay, so. Let's do the test fitting again. This one. Two. Three. Okay, the middle one is a little too long. We need to cut it a bit. Mm. Need to get the scissor. So we will just shorten this a bit. This time we don't want to pull it out all the way. Just add a little bit of the glue. Also on the other side, just some drops. And then we're gonna wiggle it in and just wiggle a bit side to side and then with a little bit of cardboard, scrape off the excess. So on the lower side, then we go back together. And we're gonna wait while this is drying. We can set up our RC just to check if everything is working. motor off of course because we don't want any accident here so it is drying out so we can rebind it then let's see if it is working again perfectly That's a fast and cheap way to fix your airplane so you can go back in the air. Thank you guys for watching and I hope I will see you guys next time.